Hello, hello, I'm gonna show you how to use the Microfleur, <laughs> let me get over here, Microfleur Microwave Flower Press, okay? It's really cool, I've been playing with it all afternoon, I've pressed all these flowers, can you see? I've got a fun craft I'm gonna make with them. Let me show you how to do it. <clears throat> so here's what you get, it's almost like a s'more, it is layers, we've got a hard plastic layer, a thick um, felt layer, and then a fabric sort of protective piece, and then that repeats, and then you have clips as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. The advice is to pick one kind of flower and do that at a time, so don't mix flowers. It's fall, and I grabbed this bouquet just at the grocery store, just kind of standard flowers, and I'm going to show you how I have been pressing them. So you're gonna start by cutting your flowers and cut them sort of close to the stem so you don't have a lot of stem and then place them on your plate this is the smaller size they do have a larger size this is the smaller size so i'm going to look for a second smaller one okay so we're going to place these both face down on here then we top them again finish off the sandwich so fabric felt other plastic piece not fully fitting in there. Let me scoot this one over a little bit. They're not supposed to touch. If they touch when they go in here, they're going to be kind of glued together, but that's okay for my craft. I don't mind them being together. So fabric, felt, plastic. Then you slide on these clips right here. So here's what we're working with. Let's put it in the microwave. All right, so how long to microwave this varies depending on the wattage of your microwave. And you wanna do it in small bursts so that you can check in between microwaves and make sure it's not getting too dry. But you put it in here and I'm gonna start with 30 seconds. All right, here it is after the first time in the microwave and it's very steamy and warm. I'm not burning my hands, but it is warm. I'm gonna slip off the clips, peel this off and show you what it looks like. So my yellow flowers held their color a lot better. These orange ones do look a little browner coming through. And I didn't do a great job over here, but that's okay. It'll totally work for what I'm doing. But you can feel that it's still a little bit wet and a little bit mushy. You really want these to get papery. And I have found when they're ready, if you peel up the fabric like this, they start kind of like popping off the fabric. Um, so I like to open it up, let it cool for a second. I don't know if that's recommended. This is what I've been doing. Um, Seal it back up and we're gonna put it back in the microwave. I have found that, so I do it 30 seconds the first time and then 20 seconds the subsequent times, checking it in between. And it's taken five to six blasts in the microwave to get it as dry as I want. Let's see now. So that was five times, so it should be about done by now. Slide off the clips. Pull this off. Peel this off. It's still very hot to the touch. If you can see, see how it's like popping off? You could use tweezers to get these off. I have found that I can just kind of like bend the fabric. They pop off. That's a pretty good sign that it's about done. You have to use your judgment and your knowledge, but look at that. Pretty, pretty ready for your craft. So if you are looking to press flowers really quickly, this is so easy, so doable, no problemo, highly recommend.